In today's video, I'm going to share the fastest way to accelerate your success in sales, even if you have no sales experience. And when I started at Salesforce in 2013, 10 years ago in January, I didn't know what I was doing. I came from a company called Rico and we sold copiers and printers. And while I had a lot of energy and I had a lot of discipline and hard work, I lacked enterprise selling skills and I lacked SaaS selling skills. And I know a lot of people feel this way. Yet I was able to overachieve my first year and finish as rookie of the year on my team. And here's how I did it. All I did was bring in my boss. You see, what I was really good at doing is prospecting and hustling and working hard. I couldn't write good emails, wasn't great in front of customers, certainly didn't know much about the product or service. I went from transactional to strategic from a very, you know, I would say Japanese hardware company to a Silicon Valley tech company and from mid-market SMB type sales to enterprise. So it was like a total shift in everything I knew. But one thing that I did know is to bring in people smarter than me. So I found an opportunity through sheer will, determination, and a lot of persistence with the CIO of one of the world's largest hospital chains. And I met with him. He said, yeah, this is interesting. Let's chat. And I brought in my boss. And then my boss actually helped me bring in other people, helped me to build a business case to get the product leaders engaged. He knew I didn't have a lot of experience, but fortunately he saw the potential in the deal and then he started running with it. While I was the point person for communication, he was helping me with the proposal. He was helping me with bringing in the platform specialist because it was a platform deal. He helped me present. He told me what to do and gave me guidance. And that's my tip for anyone who's new to your team, new to enterprise sales, new to your company. If you don't know what you're doing, bring in your boss to customer facing meetings. One, you get help and support and guidance on next steps. Two, you can watch your boss in action. One of the best bosses, I had two amazing bosses when I was at Salesforce, and both of them were phenomenal in front of customers. And so I just kind of sat back, you know, certainly organized and, you know, got ready for the meeting and quarterback, but I, I told my boss in advance that, you know, I'd love to learn from them and kind of watch how they run a meeting so I can learn. So I set that expectation. It wasn't a meeting for them to watch silently and critique. It was a meeting for me to learn by watching. And that's one of the fastest ways that you can accelerate your success is watch someone else do it. Don't try and figure it out on your own. Don't just fall on your face and fail. Yes, that's part of the journey. Of course, that's how we learn. But if it's a big opportunity, bring in the resources. One guy that I coach, awesome guy, he said, my boss is all over me. He's on my back all, the, all day. He's telling me to do these calls and these emails. Well, the reason why he's all over you is because he doesn't see the opportunities firsthand. He sees a bunch of stuff in the CRM, but he's not in front of the customers. I said, you want to get your boss off your back? Bring him to your customer meetings. Sure enough, that's what he did. You know what he said? He said, my boss is now supportive. He's showing what to do. He's coaching me. That's where the coaching occurs is in the field. Most managers don't have time to coach in one-on-ones or in forecast calls. So put them to work, bring them out to your clients. I cannot tell you how helpful this is in accelerating the learning curve. So one, it'll increase your chances of winning the deal. Two, you can learn faster because you watch by, do, by seeing. I don't know about you, but I learn a lot of times by seeing someone else in action and I pick it up pretty quickly. And three, it'll get your boss off your back if they're pressuring you to do more activity. Just bring them in. And if your boss doesn't want to go to meetings with you or support you by leading by example and go in front of your customers, you got a bigger problem because that is the number one job of a sales leader is to lead by example 
roll up your sleeves and get out in the trenches with your team. So it's your responsibility to bring in people more senior to you to meetings and let them do what they do. And here's the best thing. When you have somebody good in front of customers, you can model that and do it more and more often on your own and bring them in a little bit later in the sales cycle when there's qualified opportunities or with executives that you want to line up with your executives. But it starts by watching someone in the field and the best person to watch is your direct manager. That's what I'd recommend for anybody who's new, who's struggling, bring in your boss, set the expectations, be humble about it and say, I really learn by watching. I'd love to see, bring you in the meeting. We'll do it together. If I stumble, please pick me up or jump in where appropriate. That's how I learn. Hope this is helpful. I'll see you guys later. Take care.